My 944 engine is ready to go back in the car. I thought I would do a little walk around. People could see what it looks like. It's got the, the four tube equal length headers. They were custom made by the previous owner going into a collector. Over here, it's got the turbo oil filter console which has the fittings for the oil cooler. I like to always plug, put a pipe plug on the water pump so it doesn't try to do the heater circuit. Um, I, I actually run this engine with the, the timing belt covers off because I have a relatively large aluminum uh, tray underneath the, the engine as a drip tray so it keeps debris out of the belts. I've put on a, um, a turbo um, tensioner. The turbo tensioner is actually aluminum, cast aluminum, where the NA ones are cast steel, so you save a little bit of weight there. It has the AC delete bracket, and it has a, a smaller alternator, saves a little bit of weight there. What else does it have? I've got the throttle cam, of course, and the, the tooth gear for my uh, data acquisition system. Oh, I have the, uh, the semi-solid, the CEP semi-solid engine mounts. Uh, of course, painted lots of stuff orange. Put on a new oil filler cap. Oh, I don't know if it's visible here. Um, the, the little plate that has the little tube that comes off for the heater, I've welded that up. Again, that's the, the heater block off. The, uh, the speed and the reference sensor, you know, here's a good view of the, the bracket there. So the bracket pivots on this bolt, and this bolt's a slot, so you can t twist it to uh, change the height, um, set the height so that the sensors are the right distance from the, uh, the, the teeth of the flywheel and the set screw on the flywheel, or actually the teeth of the ring gear. So this, this one here, the one furthest away from the engine, this one is picking up a signal from the teeth of the ring gear, and that's your instantaneous RPM signal. And then this one is looking for a single set screw, that's the top dead center mark. And so that's how the computer knows when to fire the spark plugs, is based on that signal. Um, what other stuff? I've got fresh injectors, injectors just came back. They've been uh, cleaned and serviced and matched. And you can see the collector there again. Everything's nice and clean. I've got a little um, a little port here that I hook up to a vacuum gauge so I can monitor the uh, the pressure if there's uh, any any buildup of pressure in the engine from bypassing the rings. So it's uh, ready to go back into the car. Very excited to be putting it back in. I'll turn it over. A little bit so you can see how everything's moving. So the uh, balance shaft belt is on the front here, and then of course you know you've got your your drive pulley. I've taken the the power steering drive pulley off since I'm not running power steering, but you can see how because of the gearing, the balance shafts they spin in opposite directions. That's these two silver ones here, and they also spin at twice the crankshaft speed. So when I turn this one turn, they've actually completed two turns. And you can see how the timing belt, the back side of the timing belt turns the water pump pulley, and then the timing belt goes up to your distributor, your distributor drive gear and your cam gear here. So this, the camshaft goes all the way through the cam housing, and then on the end of the camshaft is the distributor rotor. Um, so that's how it all it all works together. And then you've got your, your top dead center marks. I'll uh, put the engine there and show you what it, what it looks like. So if you look right here on the top of this timing, this balance shaft, you see that little notch? That notch on the back, back surface, that notch is lined up with this notch on the cover. That's actually why I run the, put the back cover on. And then down here there's a little blade and there's a notch on the, the lower one that's lined up. And then there's a, the notch in the, the cam gear that's lined up there. I have a little uh, white paint line on mine to, to help it be visible. And then 
There's a, actually a hole here. There's a metal blade. I have to turn it just a little bit more. There's a, a metal blade inside this hole, and I've painted a, a white line. You can't see it in the in the video here, but um, that's also the top dead center mark, so you can line that up very precisely. So there we go. One engine ready to install. Next step, install it.